Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on what mold inspectors can learn from radon professionals. The EPA has fairly detailed protocols for assessing a home for radon. Mold inspectors can therefore learn a thing or two from radon measurement professionals. Number one, radon professionals will control some normal variables in the house prior to sampling. These adjustments include keeping doors and windows closed in order to get more of a worst case reading. When taking air samples for mold, it's often helpful to adjust normal parameters such as operating the HVAC system or taking samples when the space is fully occupied. Having that extra air movement will produce more of a worst case result for mold. Number two, Radon professionals understand that a reading at a particular time on a particular day may not reveal the problem. Protocols require measuring radon for more than 48 continuous hours to capture some of the variability of daily radon levels. Furthermore, the EPA recommends taking long-term samples for up to a year to capture more of the seasonal variability. Now, I understand it's not realistic to take long-term samples for mold, however, there may be projects where taking an identical set of samples at a different time of day or on a different day altogether would have revealed the problem. Number three, radon professionals have a healthy concern about the quality and reliability of their data. Radon professionals perform duplicate samples, spiked measurements, and other quality controls to scrutinize their data. For example, radon professionals will regularly take side-by-side -side samples and calculate a relative percent difference, which gets compared to control limits. Mold professionals should similarly scrutinize their data and consider actions such as taking duplicate samples to help build their statistical confidence in the data. So to summarize, although there are many differences in measuring radon and mold, there are several areas where professionals specializing in each area can learn from each other. If you'd like to learn more about air sampling for mold, consider taking the two-part course in the IAQA University titled Air Sampling for Mold. Visit the IAQA website for more information.